Y'all think the coach about the... That's how you know these niggas ain't for us, bro. Now we gonna call a spade a spade. A lot of them niggas ain't for us. Because they crashing out because they think the culture is done. Hmm. You're not battling. You don't box. You're not a ball player. You don't like. You don't have nothing to do that's competitive to, to figure that out or see who could. You know what I'm saying? See who's the better man. Or, no. Punches was the talk from the start, but see, I have the cave. You rep left you all in the dark. See, I make them fetch the stick. Watch the dog when it bark. Uphill battle. To nature just a walk in the park. You was a op. As soon as you signed your signature, you a visitor. Talk crazy to get sinister. Dillinger shooting cylinders, even though it don't mix. Gunpowder come off easy when using water and vinegar. Ow. It's the block. Burst the ab. Is you repping the what? If we meet, let's keep it street. Is you stepping the what? Turn it loose on the boulevard. Yeah, we setting it up. Lakeview. Once I see him, we gonna tear it up. So you a catch a hollow, son of lean. You washed up, son get clean. You punch our butter. Child, child. This man got the, you know, the, the deal. Yeah, I ain't got no frog on my shit. I need the frog. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get you some frog here. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, T. I mean, send, yeah, send some man. merch to this guy. Yeah, man. T. Yeah, I need some merch, T. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. Um, 2024, man. Whew. What a year. It's been so far. We we moving from February going on to March. Um, yeah, we going into our third month of the year. Battle rap is in an ill space, you know. Um, <laughs> the last time we talked, you know, we chopped it up. We told a lot of niggas to quit. You wanna act. That's yeah. number one. You're not gonna get seen. Name one of them niggas that's popping like that. Name one of them niggas that hit the big stage. Quit. Damn. Q U I T. Exclamation, motherfucker. Why? Figure something Damn. else out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you I told niggas stop bitching. You know what I'm saying? Seize the opportunity. It's winning time, my nigga. Fuck we doing out yeah, here? Yeah, it is. Like, what, what else are we doing? I was like, I'm going to complain about everything. Be blessed to wake up every morning. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to make the best of your opportunities, but you niggas be crying. I'm not taking shit back. Niggas quit, bro. Like I, like I said, niggas, some of y'all niggas know what I mean by quit, bro. Figure it out. Figure it out, bro. Mm. Uh, when we looking at uh, right now the state of battle rap, one of the shit that, you know, I, I ain't really like, you know, <laughs> dive too much into it, but I wanted to get your perspective on like, Blog awards. I gotta say, blog awards have been more entertaining than some battles that I seen booked. And, you know, just to be fair, like, you know, I feel like battles, you know, when they booked and you know, you get in the matchups and you get, you know, you know, the battle rappers going to each other in these blogs or just doing whatever they doing to sort of hype this battle. I feel like it's kind of like announcements are made and we wait until the day. Sometimes we don't even hear from the battler. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, certain battles just don't promote. That's not what they do, they, which they should. I don't know why, but they can ask themselves why shit is where it's at right now mm. because of shit that they've done in the past. Like, that and, should catch up to you. And when I say that, I'm like, yo, what's your thoughts on this? Like, the bloggers, like, kind of like, I guess, you know, it's like, fuck talking about battle rap. We talking about each other. I mean, it's cool, but where do that go? If y'all niggas don't even really see each other. Yeah. Right? It's entertaining, but that's as far as it's going to go. Y'all niggas don't rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't rap, and if they did, like, they would be doing what the fuck we do. So, it's like, y'all niggas going back and forth. It's cool for the moment, but let's be real here. You compromised ass niggas fighting each other. Y'all all compromised. So what the fuck are y'all really fighting about? What you mean they all compromised? Every last one of them niggas that's fighting each other is compromised, nigga. In what way? In every fucking way, shape, or form. Like, I ain't gotta explain myself. Them nigga, look, look at the wars that they're having. Look at how they're exposing each other. All of them got points. Like, all of them have valid points. Do they all make sense? We're not here for none of the points they're pointing out. Like, that's not what battle rap is about. 
You see what I'm saying? But yeah. all of them have points, and it's like, all right, where does that go from there? At least y'all know when we go back and forth that a battle may occur. Okay. What the fuck gonna happen with y'all? I don't know. Somebody might get hands put on each other or something. Yeah, but that's like, it's now that's boxing. So go into boxing. Go into some other shit. Like, that shit is cool for the moment, but it's like niggas is trying to seize the opportunity off of the culture of battle rap by having blogger wars. Like, get the fuck out of here. All you niggas is, I'm not going to say everybody, but a majority is opera fucking tunis, bro. They know they are, bro. You doing it because you think battle rap dying so you exposing a lot of shit, saying a lot of shit you wouldn't say if URL or RBE or Sir King of the Dot was throwing certain events, mad niggas wouldn't even be talking right now. Mm. That's a fact. They wouldn't even be saying shit, bro. You bitch ass niggas. Bitches. Y'all bitches too. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about and you know who I'm talking to. You niggas is bitches, bro. Bitches, straight bitches, nigga. Mm -hmm. Cause you know if niggas was throwing battles, y'all wouldn't be doing all this right now. Everybody wanna be seen right now. And that shit not doing nothing for nobody. Everybody that's a blogger that is somebody made their name already. So you stooping down for certain niggas that is nah bro. Like what sense do it make? Mm. It don't even make sense, bro. It's cute. It's cute. But where did that shit go from there, bro? Y'all niggas ain't trying to really get into no gangster shit. So, it's not going to sell nothing. Y'all not selling nothing. Y'all just fake beefing. There's no battle. It's no y'all going to pull up. It's let's see who do the best interviews. There's nothing at stake here. It's no who going to have the most subscribers by the summer. Let's bet. It's nothing at stake but just fake beef, bro. Like, that shit is corny, bro. Like, that shit not paying my bills. I mean, you know, they tearing not... down each other's characters. That's what's corny. Yeah. Because you doing it, that's a that's some crash out shit. Y'all think the culture about the... That's how you know these niggas ain't for us, bro. Now we gonna call a spade a spade. A lot of them niggas ain't for us. They not. Because they crashing out because they think the culture is done. Hmm. You exposing and going... Fucking miles beyond to disrespect another man or female about personal shit they have going on in their life. You're not battling. You don't box. You're not a ball player. You don't like. You don't have nothing to do that's competitive to, to figure that out or see who could. You know what I'm saying? See who's the better man. Or no, y'all just doing this shit to be doing it because you're attached to the culture of battle rap. Mm. The fuck out of here, bro. So don't say if though the game's dying, y'all ain't doing enough. Yeah, y'all trying to take all the fun out this shit now. So now all you niggas ready to fight? It's niggas that want to slap the shit out of half of y'all, and y'all know y'all don't even come around to certain shit because of that. And then y'all be trying to tarnish some of them niggas' images because you personally don't like them. You goofy ass niggas. That's all I said. Niggas be compromised. This niggas is bitches. Some niggas will use you till they get where they get. Then when you reach out, they won't say shit to you no more. I seen it with my own eyes, nigga. Because all these niggas, this a fact. You could go, well, you can't even check it because half of them so fucking compromised, they took old shit down. And then they'd be jealous of a nigga like you because I got the deal over here, right? I say that shit. But look how loyal I've been since I stepped on this motherfucking camera since 2014, man. Ten years, man. Mm. You niggas, bro, stop that shit, bro. A lot of you niggas interviewed me because I was doing shit here and you seen how shit was popping here, you fucking opportunist. And the shit didn't go your way, so you take it down on your shit because it's not the same. You're not getting the same number. I seen you niggas do it and I dare you to fucking lie. I dare any of you niggas jump out the window. Any of you niggas, play with me like that. We on that. Has some of these bloggers... <laughs> Just become bigger than some of the battles? No! Some of them try, but that shit, how? How? I mean, I just want to know, like, how? Like, yeah, some of them say it themselves. We more popular than some, you know, than a lot of battle rappers. Then a lot of what? Like, the mid tier? Of course, it's fucking thousands of battlers in the world. So if a nigga like Cap say, yo, and I've done Cap's show. This is no, not, I'm using him as an example, and this is not nothing negative. If Caps was to say, yo, Jay, I'm a bigger name than you, 
that can be argued because of how he moves in the culture and how many people listen to him, opposed to how many people will watch my battles. There can be an argument for that. But at the end of the day, you still need people like me. You still see we reach out and we work with each other, right? So therefore, I don't look at it like, you know what I'm saying? We don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. But there is battlers that caps, of course he's, come on, like we not going to be stupid. Yeah. He is. But that's, that's what I, that's what I was saying, bro. These bloggers are not bigger than the hitmans, the mooks, the retin. Hell, they need them to survive. The DNAs, the goods, y'all need them niggas to survive. Or this shit won't move. So it's like, it, that shit go hand in hand, man. That's why I said niggas know they be compromising every fucking day, bro. Just eating dick. Mm. I ain't pausing nothing. Y'all niggas just do too much of it, bro. Just do too much, bro. Y'all niggas ain't. So you think the lack of major announcement, major battles just lead us to, like, you know, bloggers just basically... Yo, it's been hella so, announced. Let, let me say this, you know, um, you know, Recently, you know, Chris Unbiased, he drops his, you know, his blog where he's basically saying people are riding each other, whatever, whatever. And Shit was that, hilarious. And that's what kind of, I feel like, started, like, you know, the uh, for the, the, the whole... And then, you know, he's, a, he's not... He's talking about battlers, but he's talking about a lot of personalities and media personalities and shit like that and that kind of like reverberated through the culture to where now everybody's attacking him he's attacking guys and things like that and that's kind of like been the last couple weeks <laughs> i feel like you know but is it for entertainment for the culture or is it because like i said earlier the same people that is asking us questions the same fucking rhetorical question is battle rap dying mm -hmm. is the fucking same reasons it's in the state that it's in by doing what they're doing right now. Mm. You arguing with another blogger, how is that more exciting than a mega matchup in battle rap? After a while, y'all arguing gets fucking boring because it's not going anywhere. Somebody has to physically get hurt and nobody wants that. I don't want to see it. For what? Like, for some motherfucker you met through this? Like, come on, bro. Shit just like a popularity contest right now. Niggas doing it, saying that the rappers ain't doing too much. Bro, I done seen over 15 cards be announced since the year started, right? Facts. And half of the names that I see at the bottom of the flyers, because I had this problem with my event, not Hip Hop Is Real. I've seen names of companies or entities in this culture on the fucking flyer. And them niggas are not working with niggas, bro. They're not even working with niggas. They ain't working with niggas at all, bro. Yeah. They on the bottom of the flyer, they getting booked to be part of this shit, and they not even working with niggas. You wanna sit down? Yeah. Close as hell. Look at that. Jay gonna move over there. We got some space. Look like, oh, man. And my brothers niggas don't work jerseys with niggas in the now. building. What's going on, man? Okay, so Red, <laughs> so Red, this is the conversation we have right now, right? Ah, oh, man.